take take note to that because like I noticed what's crazy when it comes to I didn't really understand how important a lot of my plan was like made like uh what am I trying to say how much my plan wasn't making much sense to the music I was playing until I started mixing where I started, uh, yeah I started noticing that my hi hat was open a little too long like it, <laughs> it, it drives me crazy now and it's just yes. uh. but yeah that's yeah crazy. man you one of the things man you make friends with an engineer you know what I'm saying they will certainly they certainly get you for one they're gonna get you thinking about what you're doing as a drummer uh, as, as a drummer and then you, you start mixing your own drums you start cleaning your own drums up you know it's something about my, my microphones like they they they're the they're the biggest truth tellers there are they never, <laughs> like, lie. They never, they never lie. lie they never <laughs> lie you know what i'm saying so uh well. yeah man when you get you you those microphones man whew. I'll never forget one of my first studio, one of my first studio experiences, man, and thinking that I was good on drums and then going in the studio and just feeling like I'm listening to how I'm like, oh my God, I was embarrassed. Like, mm. I sound like a beginner, you know? And I was thinking like, man, I'm, I'm good. I should be here, you know? I'm in a studio and I'm like, man, wavering with the click looseness the stuff i'm hearing between the hi-hat and the snare drum my you know my ghost notes my subdivisions on snares is uneven for a few bars they swing in the other bars they straight i'm listening at that i'm like oh man 